Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Shawnee Sander. This is Coffee and Conversations. And I haven't did a video, I feel like I haven't did a video in a while for Coffee and Conversations, but today I'm back on it. And I wanted to first, of course, take a sip of my coffee out of my favorite mug. You know this, guys. You know this is one of my favorite mugs. But I wanted to come on because I wanted to share um, something that I've been fine, that I've been wanting to do for a long time. And finally, I'm able to do it. So today, um, not even today, but I guess over a week ago, I decided to um, get a breast reduction. So a lot of you guys don't know, but I have been, um, I have large breasts. And one of the things that come, one of the issues that comes when we're having large breasts, if you get a lot of neck and shoulder pain, back pain, and you get like the indentation from your bra. And so I've been dealing with this for a very long time in my life. And I finally decided to say, you know what, okay, it's now it's time for me to do something about it. I don't have to continue to live like this. I don't have to continue to live this pain. And um, I can finally just you know, just go ahead and get it done. Cause before I used to be scared. Um, and I was like, Oh, I don't know if I want to alter the way I look, but I realized that it is truly the best option for me to do. Because if you're a woman who has large breasts, you know how heavy it is to carry large breasts on your back, on your shoulders, on your chest. Some women are hunched over because they're so heavy. And so I'm a 34 double J. Yes a 34 double J that never does exist. And so I am um, just excited by the fact that I decided to do this and I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey. I have already went to my first consultation and I got it submitted to my insurance and they approved it. I've already been um, approved by my primary care physician to go ahead and have the surgery. So the surgery is gonna be done on October 5th. And like I said, I will definitely document it and have you guys come along for the journey. But I'm super excited about it because it's something that I feel like I just, I just need. And I've been wanting to do for a very long time. And it's going to be different for me because I'm so used to seeing myself with these girls. But to see myself just differently and see my body differently, it's going to be, um, I think, life-changing. I've been down that YouTube funnel of women who've had breast reduction surgery and just the the feeling that they have afterwards, the weight that's lifted. I've been thinking about the pain level and a lot of them don't experience a lot of pain. They experience a lot more soreness. And um, so I've been just kind of researching about that to see what my level of expectation is when it comes to pain. And just to know that my doctor was like, yeah, we're gonna give you one day of pain meds and we'll tell you to take extra time after that. And I'm like, what? What kind of pain am I gonna be in? You don't give me one day, just one. And so from what I've been researching, a lot of women only get one day and some of them don't even use them all because I think one girl told me that they gave her Percocet, um, or one girl that I saw a video gave her Percocet and it made her feel um, a little woozy and it made her hallucinate. So she didn't like taking them. So she decided to stop taking them and just take the extra strength Tylenol and it seemed to work. So I'm hoping, and I want you guys to pray for me that, <laughs> you know, that it worked for me. My pain level won't be too intolerable. Um, I'm used to sleeping on my back, so that's not gonna be too much for me, but I think you have to sleep like in a sit up position which um, I'm okay with that too because I have vertigo so I don't sleep flat anyway. I have to sleep elevated. Um, but just to know that it's gonna be so different for me and to see myself differently and to go through this journey and to take you guys with me to, for any woman who maybe wants to consider having this surgery who might be suffering from the same things that I'm suffering from um, and being able to see what the outcome is. So I'm excited to take you guys along for that journey. Um, I think it's going to be really, really exciting. I think it's going to be so beneficial to me and I'm very happy about it. So that's the big announcement I wanted to make, um, and share with you guys. Um, everything else I think been going really well when in terms of my business, um, I'm still building this brand. I built my own page, um, social media page, Instagram page for DIY for social media. So if you guys are on Instagram, please go and follow the page. It has a lot of great content on there to really help you grow your brand using social media. I just use Instagram as well. So I think it's very valuable. Um, so really beginning to push that channel and grow that particular account. And I've been putting a lot of focus on that. Um, I'm coming to come out with a course another course I'll be launching soon also to um, provide some value. I haven't decided which one I want to do. I don't know if it's going to be a quick course on how to create really cool content or it's just going to be something else, but I will keep you guys posted on the second course that I will be releasing under the DIY Social Media Academy. 
Um, I'm super excited about that too. But if you guys have not yet enrolled for the DIY How to Spice Up Your Instagram Account course, please make sure you go over to my Instagram page or either I think you click the link that's actually on my YouTube channel too or the link will be below for you to um, enroll in the DIY Social Media Academy courses that could truly help you grow on social media, could truly help you grow your brand using Instagram and any other um, things that you may need in terms of how to create great content. So I begin, I'm going to release so many different um, courses that's really going to help you grow and give you real actionable things that you can do and take away from and go implement in your account as of that day. So I'm really excited about that and I'm really excited to share that with you guys, but just great to come back on and to get the coffee and conversations going again and to keep you guys updated in, in terms of what's going on and how things are going. The kids first week of school went really well. So everybody had a really great first week of school. Um, I'm excited about that. And they were excited to get back to school. I don't know if any of you guys have kids, but they were excited to get back to school and really um, um, begin to see their friends again because they really miss their friends. They really miss being around their friends. And I miss them being in a class environment because I am not a teacher. Okay, I can't be teaching second grade or first grade math or third grade math. I can't do it. All right, it's not my job, it's not my calling. But <laughs> my, I have so much appreciation for teachers now after going through that whole pandemic where kids were home, we had to school them and help them throughout their educational journey. I have so much of respect for teachers and how, they, how they're able to manage it all, you know, and deal with that amount of kids that they deal with. And they are, they are truly superheroes. And so, but I'm excited that they're back in school and that they can now get that in-person learning, but yet still want to be safe and want to make sure we um, stay concerned about their health and make sure they're healthy and they're safe and that they're wearing their mask and their social distancing and they're doing what they need to do. So we're excited about that. Um, another excitement is Ms. My, me and my husband talked about maybe adoption and I don't know if anybody out there have experience with adoption or who may be in a child of an adoption, but we were really considering it. We were thinking about doing it. Um, it's so many children out there that want homes. And so we were having a conversation about it and my husband, I was very super shocked that my husband was open to it. And, um, and I'm open to it as well. And I think it'd be really, really wonderful to bring another child into our home, into this love, and to be experienced what we have here. So it's something we're considering. We haven't taken any steps towards it, but it's something we talked about and we consider. So if any of you guys have any advice or um, any um, insight or thought on this, please do drop comments below. Let me know how you guys feel about it. I would really love some more information. If you are a child who have been adopted and your experience was it great, you know, I want to make sure we provide a wonderful, you know, bring this child into our home and they are a part of our family and they are just one with us. So really excited about that. Just to see where we go with this conversation and see if we truly take any steps towards it, but I'll keep you guys posted. But for now, um, I think that's about it. I am just still just nervous and excited about this surgery coming up. It's the first time I'm going to have surgery and I have never had any type of major surgery. So I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but also, um, I'm excited. So thank you guys. And I hope this video really does, um, help someone. Like I said, this is just my way for me to kind of vlog and get my video diary out and kind of get my thoughts out and feelings out on what I'm feeling and how my weeks have been. And since I haven't talked to you guys in a while, I just kind of wanted you guys to catch up with you guys on everything that I kind of been dealing with and going through and really trying to figure out um, just this thing called life, right? And to create a life for a better life for me and my family. So thank you guys for hanging out with me and listening and I will see you guys next week.